Okay, good morning, everyone. So for today, we'll talk about um, how you are going to be able to formulate your research questions. So as a review of what you did already, hopefully um, you're able to uh, do already your introduction, including um, uh, the first part of uh, the problem statement as a review. Remember when you do your problem statement, uh, I think there are around uh, four sentences which I need to be able to see in your problem statement. Uh, the first one is that you have to indicate the problem of your study. So in the problem statement, you need to be able to put the problem of the study is, okay? The second one is that uh, you have to be able to articulate or substantiate uh, saying that uh, the problem that you have indicated is indeed true. So what I'm trying to say here is that you need to look for um, from your uh, literature something that would say that uh, your problem is, uh, is, uh, is happening or there is really a problem. So you can quote, okay, you can quote, let's say, or you can quote or you can cite from your references that there is indeed a problem. So that's the second sentence. Punyare, let's say in the first... Um, Let's say your, your first uh, sentence is, the problem of the study is um, the limited literature on uh, uh, male, for example, the, uh, for example, the study is all about um, the lived experiences of uh, male kindergarten uh, male kindergarten teachers in the Philippines, okay? Um, you notice that the title is in the Philippines, not to worry, okay? because later on in your scope and delimitation, you can clearly articulate or say it that uh, you're going to be able to focus only, let's say, uh, in uh, particularly in the National Capital Region, uh, NCR, in the area of, uh, let's say, Quezon City, let's say District 1, okay? Assuming that there are around, let's say, six or seven schools, private schools, particularly in District 1 in Quezon City, so your participants would have to be limited only within the schools of District 1, Quezon City, the National Capital Region. So, and title mo, let's say, you're going to be able to do a, uh, a lived experience of uh, male kindergarten teachers in the Philippines. So it's very obvious that it is a uh, um, feminological study because of the very word lived experience. So you'd like to be able to find out uh, and understand how male kindergarten uh, teachers, you know, live by the day in terms of their profession as teachers. So, and going back to the problem statement, I'm just giving a background. Kunwari yun yung title ninyo. And the first uh, part of the problem statement is the problem of the study is uh, the limited literature on uh, the condition or the status of male kindergarten teachers in the Philippines. Okay, so that's your problem. So you have limited uh, literature or uh, the limited literature of uh, status okay, of uh, kindergarten teachers in the Philippines. According to the Department of Education, um, Memorandum order number, let's say, example lang, uh, number uh, 018, there is indeed a shortage of male kindergarten teachers in the Philippines. Okay, blah, blah, blah. So it's like saying that uh, indeed there is a uh, shortage or saying that uh, your problem statement is indeed parang, parang totoo. Okay, I'm not saying it's totoo, but you will have to find out later on. So the third one is you have to be able to create your purpose statement. The purpose of this um, feminological uh, research or the purpose of this qualitative feminological research okay, is to, one, number one, let's say understand, number two, explore, number three, discover. Okay? So that's a third sentence. And the fourth sentence uh, would have to be uh, so meron ka ng uh, first, second, third the fourth one naman 
uh, the problem of the study, in third is uh, uh, the purpose, the fourth sentence is the problem of the study will be answered by the following research questions. So yun na yun. So na research question number one, uh, since you are doing a phenomenological research, so pag feno ka, normally ito yung research question number one. What is the lived experience of male kindergarten teachers in the Philippines? So yun na yung research question number one mo. Then research question number two, probably you can think of other research questions that you'd like to be able to target or to find out in terms of your research. Now, ang tanong palagi, okay, so that's the problem statement because proceeding or next to the problem statement would already be your research questions. Okay, yung apang pang fourth sentence, diba, the problem of the study will be answered by the following uh, research questions. So, ilan ba ang research questions? Well, depende yan. There can be multiple research questions, maybe three to four, but don't go beyond the four kasi masyado ng marami yun. Um, yung, yung, yung goal or yung aim mo, you might not be able to get it or maguguluhan ka kung marami kang research questions. Okay? So in your research questions, assuming that you have, you have three, or, uh, three or one research questions, okay? later on, in the methodology part, you will have to create, let's say, your interview questions connected to your research questions. Kasi later on, pagka, uh, you're going to gather data already to your participants or with your participants, hindi mo po pwedeng gamitin yung research questions mo. You have to formulate, let's say, your interview questions okay, out of your research questions. Okay, kunyari, di ba research question number one nyo is what is the lived experience of male kindergarten uh, teachers in the Philippines? So gagawa ka ng research, uh, ng, uh, ng iyong interview questions uh, that hopefully would be able to answer okay, your research question. So tatlo yun. So for this morning, what we're going to talk about is how you're going to be able to formulate your research questions. Okay? Para after that, um, matapos na niyo yung introduction niyo. Okay? Then the next part would be the problem statement and the research questions. And following that would be already be, um, I will ask you to start doing already your review of related literature because I will ask you to be able to look for ano na, uh, hindi, ko na, hindi ko na gagawing 10 to uh, yung pakunti-kunti. We'll ask you to be able to look for 20 journal articles and you will have to be able to uh, put that into a table. Okay, lalagay nyo yung sa table. So as later on, when you're done with the table, you can actually create already your Chapter 2, which is your review of related literature. Actually, yung pinapagawa ko sa inyong mga activities is activities 1, 2, 3, and 4 that would actually be uh, the main components or parts of your Chapter 1. Okay? So in Chapter 2 would be your review of related literature. Uh, marami yun, ha? Uh, in Chapter 2, my review of related literature ka. That should be in paragraph form. Marami yun. And towards the end of the RRL, okay, kunyari na paragraph form yun na yung table ninyo, you will have to create one or two pages of your synthesis. Pagkatapos niyan, synthesis would be the creation of your so-called theoretical framework or your conceptual framework. Yung dalawa magkaiba yun. When you talk about theoretical framework, kung may theories involved in your, in your research, kung walang theories naman, then you need not uh, create a theoretical framework. Okay? So, yun yung uh, main components of the chapter 2, which is your RRL, the synthesis, your theoretical or your conceptual framework. Then, pagkatapos yan, yung chapter 3 naman, which I think I've asked you to be able to do already, yung, uh, yung pag-describe ng inyong methodology. So, what is your qualitative research design? Okay? If you're Research design is a case study. I think I've asked you to be able to look for four uh, uh, descriptions of what your research design is all about. Okay? Kasi ang gagawin niyo later on, okay, ilalagay niyo yun doon sa inyong chapter 3. Ano yung, 
uh, ano yung qualitative research design na ginamit niyo, i-explain niyo doon ano yung uh, sino yung participants niyo, saan saan uh, saan niyo kukunin yung participants niyo. Okay? Yun yung pinaka main uh, uh, components of your chapter 3 but of course chapter 4 and 5 would follow na yon later on na yon once you have gathered your your data already okay so i think you know yun yung pinaka importante okay so uh, eventually you're doing your chapter 1 already okay that's why i've asked you to be able to do your your introduction at ito nga yung problem uh, problem statement and the research question uh, that's your chapter 1 May mga ibang components yung chapter 1 like definition of terms, scope and limitation. Uh, madali na lang yun. Okay, I've been telling this madali na lang yun because what I'd like you to be able to uh, to figure out or to do is the essential components of uh, doing the research. So let me just share my slide to all of you. Saan ba ang share? Yeah, share screen. Okay. Um, if you can see the screen, can you um, can you show me a uh, thumbs up uh, reaction? Okay. So, yeah. Okay. So developing uh, a qualitative research question. So what questions do you aim to answer? So let's talk about this one. So again, uh, qualitative research questions. You notice, no, in your uh, reading or uh, collating of uh, uh, literature for your research, meron doon, marami doon, mga quantitative research. That's fine. Okay? But later on, when you try to formulate your, your questions in your research, it should be very specific. It should primarily be qualitative. Tatandaan nyo palagi yan. When you talk about qualitative research, you are not talking about numbers. Okay? You're not measuring. You're not uh, trying to get the relationship between, let's say, one variable to another variable. No. When you talk about qualitative research, again, very basic. You're talking about descriptions. You make use of your five senses to be able to describe, let's say, what you want in your research. So that's what we're going to talk about today. And how to start when you do your or formulate your research questions for qualitative research. Ang tanong palagi, of course, what are the research questions and why are they important? Okay? Uh, again, in formulating your research questions, hindi ka makakapag-formulate ng research question mo, not unless you have your topic, you have your uh, approved um, uh, research title. Okay? Not unless you have done your introduction. Not unless you have done your problem statement. Okay? So you notice, no, no? Um, magkakanda patong-patong na yan if uh, you haven't done the, the first part, first activity, two, three, and four. I think I've asked you to do an activity on actually doing uh, a head start of your qualitative research. Yung uh, mag interview kayo. Okay? interview kayo and ask you to be able to answer, I think, uh, three or four questions. Ano yung mga pare-parehong sinabi nila? Ano yung mga hindi nila uh, magkakaibang sinasabi nila? And you need to be able to write uh, write, uh, write up or you need to write a, a paragraph about it. Sige, let's uh, talk about how you're going to get start with or get start with your qualitative research questions. And so, research questions... Um, eventually would guide your study and determines whether you are going to use a quantitative or qualitative research methodology. In our case, we will be doing a qualitative research method. So this would be able to reflect yung direction, epistemological underpinnings, meaning the origin of your research path. Kasi kitang-kita yon, makikita yon kung saan papatungo yung research mo with the kind of questions that you are going to be able to ask later on in your, in your research. And uh, this would be able to provide guidelines and boundaries for what you are investigating. Kasi yung research question mo, kung ano niya lang yung questions na sa research mo, yun lang yung hahanapin mo. Hindi po pwede yung, you're going to be able to look for 
uh, other things na hindi naman nakalagay dito sa research questions mo. Um, it's quantitative or qualitative. Obviously, we're doing qualitative and the difference between the two. Okay? Hypothesis in qualitative research. Qualitative research is not, again, I repeat, uh, it's not designed for hypothesis, hypothesis testing. Okay? Hypothesis testing. Because hypothesis, you're going to test only your hypothesis in quantitative. Okay? Normally in... Uh, uh, let's say, proposal defense uh, for, let's say, senior high school, the master's degree, those are taking their master's and PhD. Pag nakita ko yan ng mga hypothesis and I'm part of the panel, okay, uh, it's a big no-no for me. That means that you have not been reading or you did not do your, uh, your, your proposal, especially if it's qualitative. Okay? It is annoying. Pag nakita yan may hypothesis doon, Let's say normally kasi the research questions in your quantitative uh, research, hypothesis shown. Okay? My hypothesis, na, kunyari, kung may research question one, may hypothesis one yun. Research question number two, may hypothesis number two yun. Okay? So sa qualitative, walang ganyan. <clears throat> um, it would be your assumptions about the area of your research when you're talking about hypothesis. But in qualitative research, it's about not assuming anything. You let the people who live within the situation to tell you what is and what is not. So we're not going to do assumptions. You're going to ask your participants to be able to tell you, describe you, okay, what is happening in their situation. Kasi nga, uh, descriptive. Your assumptions has no or have no value. Again, ah, that's very important. Your assumptions have no value. We will always get the answer okay, coming from your participants. They are the ones who's going to tell you. So remember that. So some research question guidelines. Uh, hindi ko na pag-uusapan tong quantitative. Huh? We're, we're going to go directly with qualitative. You usually start with what? how, or in what ways. So avoid beginning qualitative questions with why as uh, this implies a cause and effect. Okay? Pag cause and effect, very clear naman yon that it is quantitative. And even the title class, you notice in your literature review, may mga titles na talaga ay quantitative to. Let's say, uh, a comparison between ganyan, the relationship, the cause and effect, and many more. Number two, you have to identify the central phenomena. When you talk about the central phenomena, it's your main research question. In the example that I've given you, uh, the lived experience of male kindergarten teachers in the Philippines, ano yung pinaka-central phenomena mo? Okay? Or the central question. Yung lived experience of male kindergarten teachers in the Philippines. So what is the lived experience of male kindergarten teachers in the Philippines? So again, the central phenomena you plan to explore. Tell in your question what you are going to describe, to explore, generate, discover, or to understand. Avoid the use of quantitative words such as relate, influence, effect, and cause. Okay, tatandaan nyo yan. Walang ganyan sa qualitative. So these are some of uh, the examples of quantitative research questions. Ito. Descriptive questions, for example, they're usually simple questions that ask about how much or how often or look for a list of things, factors. How often do people age 30 to 40 visit their parents? Ayan, very obvious naman na quantity ito kasi kita nyo, oh, may numbers na. Okay? Uh, to determine relationship between two variables or they compare two variables. How does stress at school, rate, uh, school relate to English lesson satisfaction in high school students? It's a relationship question. So again, hindi ito 
hindi ito qualitative. Okay, quantitative, very obvious naman dito. Um, another one, a uh, predictive question. Try to forecast an outcome. You need to be confident that you can indeed ensure a controlled environment. Does a stressful work environment lead to higher turnover rates in teachers? Okay. Quantitative pa rin to because you talk about here higher turnover rates. Rates. You're talking about the numbers still here. Ayan. Dun tayo sa ating uh, qualitative research. Usually start with what or how. Example, avoid beginning qualitative questions with why as again, this implies cause and effect. So identify the central phenomena you plan to explore. Tell in your question what you are going to describe, explore, generate, discover, or understand. Again, avoid use of quantitative words such as relate, influence, effect, and cause. I think this was made mention earlier already. So some of the examples of qualitative research questions are the following. What is it like growing up in a single parent family in rural environment? Okay. I assume um, ang kanyang research to is all about single parenthood. Okay? Um, single parenthood ang kanyang, uh, or being a, a single parent, I think uh, yung pinaka-topic ng question na to. And maybe um, ang kanyang research, uh, the title could have been, let's say, the lived experience of single, single parents. Okay? The lived experience of single parents. The second example, what are the experiences of people working night shifts in healthcare? Or probably, no, maganda rin to, no? the lived experiences of uh, call center agents okay? um, in uh, call center agents. Maganda yun. Um, ano ba yung uh, experience nila working at night? No? Um, it would be interesting to be able to find out yung kanilang, yung mga experiences ng mga call center agents. No? Is their life different from the life of an ordinary uh, employee or wor worker working uh, during the day or in the morning or in the afternoon? Number three, how would overweight people describe their meal times while dieting? <laughs> well, maganda to, no? Again, very obvious that uh, in this research question, uh, the topic could, could, could have been, or the topic nito, it might be like, uh, let's say, overweight people. It could be dieting, okay? Or something to do with health. There's a note here. With qualitative research, you will usually have one central question, okay? And possibly also sub questions to narrow the phenomena under study further. Okay, so my main research question ka and you would have sub-research questions. So yung sub mo, you can have two or three. The sub-questions will generally be more specific. Again, ha, yung sub-questions, yung number two and three will generally be more specific. Okay, let's proceed. Other examples, what are some common concerns teachers have about the introduction? Okay, For example, palitan ko to so as you'll be able to understand. What are common concerns teachers have about the introduction of uh, uh, um, the GR, uh, G good manners, G, uh, good, GMRC? Palitan natin tong net na to. What are some concerns teachers had about the introduction or the reintroduction of the good uh, manners and right conduct? Okay, subject in the school curriculum. So what are some concerns teachers have about the introduction of the good manners, right conduct, GMRC in the school curriculum? Number two. How can uh, teacher education programs better prepare students for the reality of classroom teaching? So again, mag -iba pa ta bigay pa tayo iba example. How can, let's say, the senior high school programs better prepare students 
for the reality of uh, uh, let's say the reality of uh, college preparedness. Okay, how can the senior high school programs better prepare students uh, for uh, for uh, college readiness or university readiness? Number three. In what ways does a teacher attitude affect students' motivation to learn English? Okay, so I think it's uh, major. I think uh, you'll be able to understand this one. In what ways does a, in what ways does uh, a teacher, my does a teacher attitude affect students' motivation to learn English? Okay, so those are some of the examples of qualitative research questions. Now, there can be multiple research questions, but I will not be suggesting this one because you're just starting doing your research. Maybe I would understand if you are uh, taking up your master's or your PhD. Okay, pwede yan. Pero sa inyo, uh, don't think, even think about doing multiple research questions muna. To what extent are Korean in-service high school English teachers supportive of the introduction of the NEET and why? Okay. For example, to what extent are uh, Filipinos okay, in uh, the junior high school, kunyari, to what extent are Filipinos in the junior high school uh, in the junior high school program okay, supportive of the introduction of uh, the CAT? Okay, yung uh, citizens army training. Why? What are the common concerns teachers have about its introduction in relation to washback? Or what are some concerns teachers have about uh, the introduction of CAT okay, in relation to uh, service to the country? Number three, what actions can be taken to facilitate the introduction of CAT into the school curriculum? Okay, notice you and dami yan. Okay, multiple. Okay, so a clear and appropriate research question or a set of interrelated questions provide the foundation of your research. Poor research questions can lead to poor research. So your aim is to write a clear question or a set of interrelated questions which will allow you to go about finding answers in a focused and, uh, in a focused and systematic way. So again, you have your central question, research question, okay? And you have your sub-research question number one, sub-research question number two. Uh, re I'm sorry, sub-research question number one, okay? And uh, the other research questions pertaining to your central question. There are common problems in doing your research questions. Deciding which area to look at from a range of issues that interest you. So you need to be able to focus on the important issues that you are going to be able to find out in your research. Not being able to think of any area or topic you find sufficiently interesting. Know which area you want to focus on, but not a specific topic. Knowing what area and topic, but finding it difficult to clearly articulate a question. Okay, so focusing on your research question on exploring effects, but you're not proving. Understanding issues, but you're not measuring. You're going to gather participants' perceptions. Okay, but walang hypothesis yan. Okay, uh, open. Okay, and flexible responses. Yun yung mahalaga. Open and flexible responses from your participants. Now, asking the right questions. In qualitative research, we ask things like, how are things done? Or how do people perceive how things are done? What factors contribute to an outcome? In what ways do people view a certain issue or problem? In what ways people feel that an issue can be resolved? To what extent people have been affected by something 
Or in what ways do people deal with a certain situation and why? Okay. okay. Uh, it could be descriptive research questions as about what actually happened. It could be interpretive research questions as about the meaning of what happened to those involved. And it can be theoretical research questions. Ask about why those things happen. There's a descriptive, interpretative, and theoretical. Now, the good versus the, the bad research questions. So you have to be specific. Okay, focus, uh, focus on your research. Require research to answer. Can be answered through research. They are important to the field and are manageable, not too broad or not too narrow. Uh, ito, what are some of the uh, problematic research questions? Which is the best way to teach? ELLS or oral skills? Again, kita mo, you're, you're, you're both um, comparing two, two things here. What, what can we do to teach English to students effectively? Oh, hindi siya... The third one, do Korean English teachers use Korean when they teach English? It's too vague. Number four, does working uh, in groups contribute to learning ability reflects on their own language learning abilities and need to study more? And when I get to see this question, ano ba talaga ang gusto mong itanong? <laughs> and the fifth one, do Korean English teachers enjoy their job? Um, again, ito, it's too vague as well. Okay. So have a simple and easy answers. Can be answered in one word or sentence. Hindi maganda yun pag uh, ganong klaseng research question. It, has, it doesn't have any answer. Or only a matter of opinion. Hindi pwede yung opinion lang. Are too complicated, too broad, and are too vague. Ito. So these are examples of good research questions. What are the characteristics of oral English language instruction provided to 10th grade ELLS at the public school? What is the impact of ex ex explicit writing strategy inst instruction for a group of 5th grade, uh, grade public school ELLS? In what ways does the Korean English teacher blah, 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 Young Fort, in what ways does working in groups contribute to learners' ability to reflect on their own abilities? And the last one, how do Korean public high school teachers perceive their roles as language teachers? Again, it should be specific. You have to focus on your research. Require research to answer. Can be answered through research. Are important to your field and they are manageable. Okay, so these are some tips in uh, writing your research questions. Ask only a few general questions. Okay? To permit participants to share information with you, especially later on in the interview, uh, in the actual interview part, in your methodology. Ask questions that are neutral exploratory language that does not convey conclusions you expect. Design and write Two question types, the central questions and the sub-questions. Don't worry too much at the beginning. Questions often change throughout planning. So again, uh, you don't worry too much at the beginning. Okay? Questions often change throughout the planning. So what we'll, we'll can bother, Jan, especially if, uh, for example, I'll be able to see that some of your research questions might not be appropriate. Is there, I know, um, Nasa kalakaligit na ako ng ginagawa kong research. No, no worry. Uh, we can always uh, edit the research questions to align it with your research. Okay? I think I made mention of this uh, already. Okay, so the central and the sub-research questions. So what does it mean to be a professional teacher? So that's your main or your central. From practitioner's perspective, what do professionals do? What uh, do not professional teachers do? How can language teachers be good leaders for their learners? 
in what ways do learners see language teachers as leaders? And from the learner's perspectives, what specific features and characteristics contribute to a good language teacher leader? So you notice you dito again, there's a main or a central research question and a sub research question. Well, let's uh, skip with this one. In what ways are participants affected by X? What factors? Oh, very in interesting na ito ay pang quantitative. Okay, so I think, uh, yeah, let me stop my share screen. Okay, so yan yung ating uh, discussion for today about um, the research questions. Any, um, any questions So research questions So any questions so far in terms of the formulation of your research question? So, um, handa na ba kayo to, uh, to create your research questions? Joanna? Uh, sir, I think, opo. Opo. Sige nga. Ano yung, bigyan mo nga ako ng, ano yung magiging main research question mo or your central uh, question? Uh, uh, siguro po, how? Ay, hindi, sandali muna. I'm sorry, Joanna. Uh, tell me your, ano, your research title para I'll be able to, uh, to, to, know, to understand also know where you're coming from. Your title and your possible uh, central or main research question. Uh, sir, yung title ko po is The Live Experience for Students in, uh, in Senior High School. Finish, finish uh, in SPG number 14. Joanna, ang labo ng title, ha? <laughs> Hindi, sir. Wait, wait lang po. Nawawala po kasi yung copy, sir. Ah, nawawala. But I think your title has something to do with the lived experience of students who have undertaken um, uh, the research project about SDG, kung ano mang SDG yun. Okay? Ano yung uh, magiging central question mo? Uh, siguro, sir, yung magiging question ko po is, uh, how how does? Hindi. Ang research question mo, Joanna, what is I'm the lived? Yun yun. What is the lived experience of um, uh, senior uh, grade uh, uh, grade 12 senior high school students who have undergone the SDG number uh, kunyari, 8 uh, collaboration uh, uh, collaborative um, project okay, with Japanese students. So yun yung pinaka main research question mo because you're doing a ano a feminological ha Joanna tapos sir uh, case study yeah. po ata case study ka ba o tama yung pag case study normally hindi you don't start it with uh, what is the lived experience tama yun how okay sige thank you um who thank else you, uh Carl ikaw hello po sir yes yes Carl um, yung title ko po is, um, wait lang sir, ito po. Ang title ko po is, um, A Case Study of Academic Burnout Among Senior High School Students in St. Patrick's School of Quezon City. Okay. So, Bali, anong... sir, oh. ang naisip ko pong research question is, ito po sir, um, How does academic burnout hinder students' progress and keep them from performing well in school? Oh, yan. That's very clear. Huh? Very clear. Tama yan. That would be your main uh, main uh, uh, central research question. Tapos, madali na lang yung, ano mo, yung mga sub-research questions mo. At least, klaro yun. Okay? Sige, very good. Um, Actually, sir, meron na rin po ako. Meron na. Oh, sige, ano yung, ah, sige, ano yung sub, ano mo, sub-questions mo? Ilan ba yan? Dalawa? Sir, actually, sir, madami sila, sir. Kasi po, sir, I somehow... Huwag uh, marami, Carl. Huwag okay, marami. Sir. You can only have one uh, central question and probably two or three lang. Huwag mo maramihin okay, because sir. mahihirapan ka noon. 
Bale, sir, yung naisip ko po na iba pa, sir, is how does it feel to be academically burnt out? And then po, what are the struggles of students having an academic burnout phase? What are the struggles? Palitan mo yun, what are the challenges? Okay po, sir. Uh, uh, what are the what are the challenges of students? Blah, blah, blah. Okay na yun. Okay. You, can have, you can have three. Thank you, sir. Kasi out of the three, marami ka nang pwedeng gawing interview questions doon for, for, for research questions. Okay? Sige. Thank you, Carl. Uh, sino pa? Um, uh, um, Ryu. Ryu, are you, are you with us? Yes, sir. Oh, so, Ryu, uh, your title and your uh, main research question. My research title po is uh, the... Phenomenological study on the experiences of uh, the senior high high school students um, with the collaboration of the with the wait lang sir I'm gonna find my sige while Rai is looking for the title and the research question uh, Duane Nicao what is your title and your possible main research question? Dwayne? Uh, sir, yung title po yung an ethnographic study about gaming culture in St. Patrick's School of Quezon City. Okay. Uh, so, ano yung uh, possible uh, main research questions? Re research question mo? Ah, wait lang po. You, you could probably start, Dwayne, with the word how. Okay? Wedding, how do, uh, how do uh, students who, how do students? Okay? You can start with that one. Sige. Uh, sino ah, ba? Thank you uh, po. Margaret, ikaw, kamusta na ang ginagawa mo? Margaret? Wala pa yata si Margaret. Uh, Fritzy. Fritzy? Yes, sir. O, kamusta ang ano mo, uh, uh, your research title and your possible main research question? Um, yung title ko po is A Case Study of St. Patrick School of Quezon City's Collaborative International Program. Okay. Yung, um, actually, wala pa po akong maisip na research question. Okay. Pero gusto okay. ko pong mag-focus sa experience po ng students. Ay, hindi. Kasi yung title mo, can you repeat your title, Fritz? Okay, study of St. Patrick School of Quezon City's collaborative international program po. Oh, you're going to focus on uh, uh, the Current. school primarily of, yes. ano, of, of the students. So you can start it with the word how. How does how does St. Patrick School, oh, yon. you can start it that way. Okay. Sige po, sir. Thank you po. Uh, no, normally, class, uh, especially kung, kung case study yan, kung case study, uh, you normally start with the word how. No? Tapos, you try to connect it with your title as your main research question. Pagka uh, feminological naman yan, normally, what, what is the lived experience? Okay? Pagka uh, ethnography naman yan, ethnographic, um, Pwede rin naman yung how or, or, or what specifically for ethnographic. Uh, normally, majority of those who are doing ethnography, parang feminological yan. They started with what naman. Okay? Sige. Um, Sophia, what about, uh, what about you? Your title and your possible main research question? Sophia, are you there? Uh, yes, po, sir. Uh, Sophia. Um, yung title ko po, ano, Ethnographic Research on Lucky Jama in the Philippines, Fascination of SHS Students in the St. Patrick's School for the Yen Jama po. Tapos okay. yung research question ko po is, ano, what is your lived experience as a Korean Jama fan or watcher? What is the lived experience of senior high school uh, students 
Tama ba yun? Ano ba yung, uh, pakiulit nga, uh, Sophia? Um, parang yung ginawa ko po kasi sa unang question ko, parang ano po? Y- you're, doing, na po dun sa uh, y- you're doing feminological ba? Ethnographic po. Ah, eth- ethnography. Okay, sige, sige. Um, sige, thank you. Sing- oh, Rayo, are you, are, are you okay na? Yes po, sir. Sige. My title po is uh, A Feminological Research on the Experience of Senior High School Students on an inter- International Collaboration okay. with Japanese. So my ano po kasi, study is feminological. So uh, this question po I just made up. Hmm. What would you like to take part in the collaboration? Pwede po ba sir? Ah uh, ano uh, ulit sayo Rayo uh, you're, you're doing ano uli uh, feminological no Yes po Uh you started with what 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 is the lived experience of uh um uh what is the lived experience of uh You're focusing on students no Yes po What what is the lived experience of St. Patrick's School of Quezon City students What what is the lived experience of uh, St. Patrick's School of Quezon City students? Uh, ah, what what is the lived experience of St. Patrick's School of Quezon City uh, students? Uh, what is the what is the lived experience of? Uh, Tsaka mo nalagay muna yung St. Patrick, uh, what is the lived experience of students who have undergone uh, collaborative blah, blah, blah. Okay? You do it that way. Sige. Thank you. Uh, Thank you Carl. Carl uh, Francis. Carl? Hello po. Oh, yes. Sige, Carl, your title and your uh, main research question. Title ko po yung nakasa ko po sa inyo. Pwede ko nang i-tanin po ng konti. Nagkamali ko kasi ako yung, yung pinasa ko. Ah, yung you're going title, to... Oh, sige, sige. Go ahead. Yung title ko po is A Case Study of Learning Robotics Programming in St. Patrick's School of Quezon City. Okay. Tapos, ang magiging research question mo dyan, ha, uh, ah, pa, paulit nga. I'm, I'm sorry, Carl. Didn't get it. Yung title. A Case Study of Learning Robotics Programming in St. Patrick's School of Quezon City. Oh, how do uh, how do how do or oh, how does St. Patrick's School uh, you, you can start, start it with how the word how 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 does St. Patrick's School blah 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 okay normally ganun ka sa uh, again yung sinabi ko pag case study connect it with your your title that would be your main uh, research uh, research question Pagka feminological, again, what is the lived experience? Uh, pagka ethnography, pretty much the same also with, um, with the feminolo- feminological uh, research question. You can start it with what? Uh, who's this one? Sean? Sean Casabuena? Sean. Wala yata si Sean. Uh, Shane? Shane? Wala. Shanley? Sir? Sorry po. Hello po, sir. Ako po. Ah, s- s- sandali. S- sino ba yung nauna? Si Shane ba? I, yes po. Oh, Shane, go ahead. Yung title ko po, sir, is um, A Case Study on the Foreign Language Program of St. Patrick's City. Okay. Tapos yung question ko po, naisip ko po, Um, how do the foreign language program is being performed at St. Patrick's School? Po, uh, how how does the uh, in the being performed in the, in the being performed eh. um, Uh, ano 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 anong gusto mong malaman for the foreign language program? What do you like to find out muna? 
Wala Sir, ba? kung paano po na akong um, yung experiences po ng both ng students and yung teachers po? Hindi, kasi you're, you're talking about the program eh. Yung programa mismo. Okay, the program of the foreign language program. So, you need to focus on the foreign language program of the school. So, ang foreign language program of the school is through its club, yung, yung Korean and the Japanese uh, program. No? So, you need to be able to focus on the program. Okay. Yung programa mismo, ha? Huh? Okay. Oh, sige, thank you. Uh, Shanley? Hello po, Dr. Nari. Yes, yes, good morning. Oh, the title and your possible uh, main research question. So my title is Feminological Study for Coil Program of St. Patrick's School of Quezon City in Relation to SDG 12, A Teacher's Perception. Okay. And as for my proposed research question, what is the lived experiences of teachers of St. Patrick's School of Quezon City in regards to the school's uh, in in regards to the school's coil program pertaining to SDG 12. Okay. Oh, ayun, klaro na. Huh? Uh, you can, you can uh, formulate later. May, meron ka na bang sub-questions, Shanley? Uh, wala pa po, Dr. Dari. Okay, sige, sige. Okay. Uh, sino pa? Um, uh, Ark? Ark? Sige. Ano yung, uh, ano yung sa, sa yung Ark? Ano po, yung title ko po is uh, qualitative study on TikTok dance during this. Ano, ano ulit, Pandemic. Art? Uh, uh, Pakiulit na, Art? A TikTok dance. Ay, ay, ali. Kahit lang po. A qualitative study on oh. TikTok na during this pandemic. A qualitative study of? On TikTok dance during this pandemic. Ah, okay. Um, TikTok dancing. <laughs> A qualitative case study on TikTok dancing. Hindi, papalitan natin yun na kasi ang TikTok dancing, uh, uh, you, you might want to change it to uh, the lived experience of students, uh, the lived experience of students who are into TikTok dancing. Who am Art? Apo, sir. Apo. The lived experience of students who are into TikTok dancing. Tapos, uh, so magiging feminological ka kasi parang hindi yata, ano, parang awkward yata pag case study on TikTok dancing. So, feminological na lang. Okay? Uh, the lived experience of uh, students who are into TikTok dancing. Tapos, ang main research question mo, what is the lived experience of students who are into TikTok dancing? Okay? Kuha mo, uh, Art? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay na yun. Okay. Uh, next, si uh, uh, Valerit. Sir? Yes. Go ahead. Uh, yung title ko po, sir, is NFTs and play-to-earn games. The future of modern gaming misconceptions, and the public's perception of NFT games in the Philippines. Ang haba, Tapos yung, ang haba ng title mo. <laughs> May <opo>. public pa. <laughs> pa can, can you type your, ano, can you type your research question uh, sa, ano, sa chat box? So May I, question ko po, sir. Wala uh, pa po akong question. No, no, no. Your title, your title. Title po. Okay. Uh, ay, ito na ba? Ang bilis ah. Oo oh, sir. Ang haba. <laughs> Iksiyang po po, sir. Ah, bato. Uh, you're going to be grilled alive in your proposal pag ganito, ha? Um, the future, a case study, uh, a case study on NFT, NFT games in the Philippines. Pwede, yun muna, ha? Um, a case study of, ano, ba, ano ulit itong NFT? Sir, uh, parang po siya ano, sa cryptocurrency po, sir. Parang ano yeah. po siya. You have to complete it. When you write your title, it must be complete kasi the readers will not be able to understand. Ah, okay uh, po. Non-fungible uh, token po, sir, yung full. Non-ano? Non, 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 Non-fungible token. 
O yun na ilalagay mo. A case study on non-fundable? Uh, fungible, uh, sir. Fungible token games in the Philippines. Yun muna. Okay? Tanggalin muna itong ano, yung... Uh, A case, a case study on, ayan, a case study of perception of, dali, a case study of, ayun na lang, a case study on NFT games in the Philippines. Pero kompletuhin mo itong NFT, ha? dapat ang nakalagay, a case study on non uh, non fungible token tapos open parenthesis nft tapos close parenthesis in the philippines okay a case study oh yan yan muna uh, tapos later on doon sa scope and limitation ikaklarify mo na lang later on yan kasi uh, it's too wide in scope but you have to be able to explain that in your scope and limitation okay uh okay, boo, sir. tapos How? Oh, yan muna. Tapos yung research question mo, you can probably start with the word how. Okay. Uh, may ma how do... Oh, yan muna. Okay. Tapos uh, try to formulate your research question. Okay. Sige. Okay po, sir. Thank you po. Sino pa? Uh, Belle, ikaw. Um, hello po. Oh. Uh, Sige, yung, good morning, Bell. Yung title ko po is The Live Experience of Students Under the Collaborative Online International Learning Program Looking at SDG 12. Um, tas, may I screen screen po ba? Yes, yes. yes Ito po yung that. parang uh, nagawa ko so far po. Yung main question po is what is the live experience of students who went under the COIL program in relation uh, to this? Tama, us? tama. Um, tapos um, ito parang po yung ano, sub-questions po and yung ba po no, itong mga itong sub-questions mo wag, i-ano mo na lang yan i-reformulate mo na lang to your interview questions ha you need okay. not uh, wag mo na ilagay yan so okay na yun. research question number one number two what convergent concepts could be present mm -hmm. And that you, you don't get to ask the concepts. Uh, maybe you can ask what uh, what important uh, what important concepts or what important. Maybe you can an, you, you maybe you can ask new learnings. No, uh, new oh. learnings they got from uh, this collaborative. Uh, no? A program. That can be oh, research question number two. Tapos, ito, wag na to. What problems? Kasi, ano yan eh, hopefully, lalabas yan eh. Lalabas yan doon eh. Uh, what, uh, uh, what are the new learnings? Yon. That could be your uh, research question number two. And number three, although this is, uh, uh, ta doon, yung very specific, maybe you can just ask, what the, uh, uh, what are the challenges? Okay, what are the challenges mm -hmm. in uh, um, uh, what are the challenges in terms of doing the coil program? Okay, ano yung mga uh, challenges? Uh, oh, so yun na, you can have three. Okay? Think Kasi itong mga, yung mga sub-questions na to, nakita nyo class, no? Um, maybe that could be your, your interview questions later on, but need not put it here. Okay? Uh, okay, sige. Thank you. Thank you. Po. Okay, sino pa? Uh, Daniel? Ay, hey, good morning po siya. Good morning. Ano po, yung sa research title na working ko po is yung practices, practices used by the schools of schools included in the tour, uh, robotics tournament. Ano na ulit? Ano ulit, ano ulit, Daniel? Um, yung okay. sa uh, okay. Okay study, oh. uh, po, okay study of the Practices used by the participants on the robotics competition in the Philippines, sir. Oh, pero ano ka? You're just going to focus on one, ano, one, uh, one uh, robotics tournament, po. 
pang tournament. Nga po, sir. Which is the first Lego League. Ah, first Lego Le- League. Yan pa. First, okay, pa. Uh, first Lego League para mas madali because we have uh, we can easily uh, get in touch with uh, those schools who joined in the first Lego League competition. Um, okay po, sir. Pumunta ka doon sa Felta Multimedia website. Okay, Felta. Felta Multimedia. Okay, Tapos i-click mo doon yung icon ng First Lego League. Tapos makikita mo doon there are, that there are several schools who joined the uh, who joined the ano the First Lego League competition. Uh, Lazal Zobel, Yanga, uh, si St. Patrick and the other schools. Okay? Sir, ano po ulit? Felta. O, oh, Felta Multimedia Incorporated. INC Incorporated. So, let, 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 me, let me just type that. Felta Multimedia. O, oh, yan ha? Tapos, meron doon makikita ka first Lego First Lego League. Yeah. Tama ba? Okay. First Lego League. FLL ang tawag doon. Okay? FLL. Okay? Sige. Okay po, sir. Sa research question oh. po, wala pa po ako, sir. Oh, ma- ma- mas madali yun sa'yo. How do, uh, how do uh, uh, schools How do schools prepare, for example lang ha, how do schools prepare uh, for, how do, how do schools prepare in connection to the first Lego League competition? Huh? Okay na, uh, Daniel? Okay na po, sir. Thank you po. Okay. I think that's it for, for, for today class, no? Uh, continue to do that. Um, siguro, Uh, I think there's a problem with yung, the submission for the ABM. I don't know what happened to uh, ito sa ating ano, ito sa bright space. It seems na hindi hindi siya makorrect doon in terms of the date, no? Kaya some of you um yung sa activity number 3 and 4 okay lang yun if you submit it. Uh, I'm, I'm having a problem in terms of the uh, the editing of the date doon sa activity number 3 and 4. Um When I change the date, when I'm changing the date, nag nag nagpupula siya, but I have yet to figure it out. I think for STEM naman, okay naman yata, but I'm having problems with the ABM doon sa activity number three and four. So okay lang yon. Um, you can submit it through the messenger. Submit it to me so I can check. Okay. Tapos, um, please uh please do your ano na, please do yung yung activity for today, which is your uh, try to accomplish and finish your a problem statement and the research question okay siguro by tomorrow um we will uh will ask you to be able to do already a head start of your of your RRL already which is chapter 2 tapos sa midterms niyo madali lang yung midterms niyo i will just be able to ask you to be able to submit or probably iniisip ko kung sa midterms niyo kung ano yung natapos niyo you'll have to be able to come up with a powerpoint for it parang Uh, ay, hindi pa po pwede kasing mag-proposal kayo kasi hindi pa kompleto eh. Okay, hindi pa kompleto. But I'm going to be able to give you the format. So mo- most likely, ganun na lang. In a PowerPoint uh, presentation, uh, which include which would include your your topic, your research title, the problem statement, the research questions. Okay, so uh, I'm going to give you the format. Okay, for that would be your your midterm uh, midterm examination. Okay. Uh, anyway, that would still be next week pa naman. Okay? I think uh, most of you naman are, are doing uh, okay naman in your research. Pakitulungan yung mga ibang classmates nyo, especially yung naliligaw na landas. Please help them. Uh, please update them also of uh, kung ano na yung nangyayari doon sa kanilang research. Ha? Kasi um, malapit ng ano, malapit ng mag-chapter 2. Okay? Pag nag-chapter 2 na tayo, mas mahirap na yon. <laughs> at uh, baka mahuli yung mga iba. So, um, kamustahin nyo na lang kung kamusta na yung ginagawa nilang research kasi uh, kung kayo nahihirapan, uh, mas mahihirapan pa rin sila later on. Okay? So, yun lang for today. I think it's 10.10 already. Thank you very much and I'm going to stop recording already. See you uh, see you tomorrow. Bye. Sir, kailan nyo po i-upload yung mga